that's my job anyway. So I thought the only way I can avoid that is to take control myself. I can still do what I love by doing a podcast and in a way that I get to call all the shots. I make all the decisions. I pick the blog posts. I pick the topics. I decide how long or short I want to make my episode that day. It only took me about three weeks after the loss of my job to get this up and running. I was already blog- blogging, like I said, and I continued to blog every day. And now I'm doing the podcast every day. You know it's your daily dose of inspiration and positivity. It is so awesome. This is the most fun and the most rewarding job I've ever had. I have never loved doing anything as much as I love doing this. And mostly, I feel like I'm actually helping people. I feel like there are those who want to hear my message, who are truly benefiting from my message. And that makes me so excited and so happy. I want to help inspire and show you positivity every darn day. Do you know what the best part of all this is? I believe I have discovered my true calling. I know deep down inside, this is what I am meant to be doing. It just took me this long to figure it out. There is no second guessing. There is no wondering if I'm doing the right thing. I know. I know I am on the right path. And you will too once you find your true calling. So back to the things that we were talking about in the quote, don't stop doing what you're doing. If you are being you and doing the job properly in the way that you know how to do it best, then keep doing it that way. Some people still don't like women in authority positions. I'm not trying to make this whole thing about a women's lib thing or whatever, but uh, women still get called bossy, bitchy, pushy, all kinds of names. In the same situations that men would be called leaders and intuitive. So don't you back down. If there is an employer who doesn't like your tactics, if you aren't breaking any rules or company policies, then you do you. I'm not telling you to go rogue or anything, but don't let others make you feel bad for being aggressive and ambitious. If you do end up in a situation like me and don't know where to go next, ask yourself every question possible about where you can go next. Do you need to find a job with a company? That's what I always thought. I never thought I could do anything on my own. I worked in radio. I don't own a radio station. Then it occurred to me, I can do a podcast now. You need to question everything. And if you're not working, you have the time to do it. What do you love doing more than anything? Can you make money at it? Can you turn it into a career or a business, even if it may take a while to start bringing in some cash? If you can swing it financially, then please chase that dream. Because if not now, then when? Now is the time. In fact, don't wait to lose your job. Figure it out. Figure out your dream right now. Do it now. Get moving. Do whatever it takes. You When you are on your intended path, you won't wonder if you are doing the right thing. Like I said, you will know. You will feel it. You won't even look for validation from other people because you don't need it. You you know what you're doing, and you know deep in your heart what it takes to get there. Now, don't get me wrong. I get tons of feedback from people who listen and read my stuff, but... You know, that's about the content of the show, and that's fine. I want suggestions. I want people to give me ideas to tell me some things that they might need work on so I can focus on that. So I'm not talking about the mechanics. I'm just talking about the content. Find your passion. Pursue it with all that you've got, and you will never regret another day in your life. Trust me. Three months ago, I was coming home from work every day frustrated that I had to work with a partner who was extremely difficult. No more. I'm free. I'm happy. I'm doing me. And honest to God, I have never felt better in my entire life. I want this for you too. If you need help figuring out your passion, message me. Maybe we can brainstorm together. I want everyone to have this amazing life that I'm leading, and I will do all I can to help and to get you started. Have I inspired you? Do you want to sit down and write down a whole bunch of ideas? I hope so. I truly hope so. I want to help you. 
if I can in any way, shape, or form, message me through the Hopefulest page or at the Hopefulest one at gmail.com. Go to my website, hopefulest.com. It is hump day. Just so you know, a very special occasion is coming up on Friday. You'll never guess what it is. My 50th episode. 50 episodes in just two months. It's going to be party day on the Hopefulist. We're going to have some guest stars. You might actually get to see us a little bit. Check out the Hopefulist.com. I hope you can join us. Well, every day, but especially on Friday, it's going to be a party. I am so excited. We're going to have party music, party horns, and all kinds of fabulous stuff. So now, go make it your best day yet. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit Hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. Hopefulist.